With more than 5 million followers, the social media accounts of the Oregon Zoo have reached worldwide popularity. Very popular here at the studio, yeah. and part of the appeal is all thanks to the quirky, funny, and informative posts on the zoo's Twitter account. And today on our show and tell with Tony, we are meeting the man who makes it all happen. My guest today is Shervin Hess. This is Shervin sitting right here, and Shervin wants to share a book with us. What is the title of the book? It's called Animals Reviewed. It's a bunch of tweets that they turned into a book. Yeah, and the thing that makes it so special is that the idea of hashtag rate the species was your original concept. That's right, that's right. So you are the Oregon Zoo Twitter guy. I am the, the chief of tweets for the Oregon Zoo. We have five million followers across all of our platforms, including Twitter. And these are people all around the world but they have one thing in common, and they all love animals. Well, they love animals, but they love humor, because these aren't just normal tweets. Some of them are standard, but the funny ones really stand out. So for example, do you remember what you wrote for this one? Roses are red, pandas are too. Smell all the roses, crunch the bamboo. How about the one, uh, the second one there? Alas, my heart belongs to an otter. <laughs> Some of these things are hard. They're, they're funnier when you read them. Do you have a favorite? There was one where it's a turtle, and this was during that whole Marie Kondo craze. And this, and it said, this sparks joy, but we're still releasing it. <laughs> and it was sort of a play on, because we released these right. pond turtles into the wild. Are some animals uh, more easy to tweet about than others? Something like a naked mole rat. <laughs> uh, That's funny just thinking about it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it almost, the tweets almost write themselves when they're about naked mole rats. How did this whole thing even start? My dad was a biologist, and so we would spend a lot of time, you know, living in Troutdale, going to the Columbia Gorge and going in the forest and all this stuff, and every time, you know, he was this guy that he would turn over a log and he knew exactly how to find a salamander, and that was it for me. That was like magic, you know, and I was like, I, I know I need to do this, right? Um, but we also come to the zoo a lot, you know? And I remember being a kid, driving out here with my dad, and like, the closer you got, the more zoo signs you'd see and how excited I felt. And never, I never imagined I would actually be working here. Um, so there's a real natural connection for you to be a part of it. Yeah, yeah. My dad passed when I was younger, but we, we, the family put a memorial, little plaque thing here at the zoo for so, for him, you know? So when I went away, I went to New York for a big part of my career, but every time I came back, I'd kind of do this pilgrimage, come to the zoo and, and see his, his memorial plaque and stuff. And, and now here you are. And here I am, yeah. And I know that you have uh, aspirations that go beyond just being the Twitter guy for the Oregon Zoo. So where were, are we gonna find you in you know, five, 10 years from now? Yeah, well, I, you know, my career here has really been transitioning a lot more towards the conservation. So it's supporting a lot more of that kind of work is, is kind of where it's headed for me. That would make your dad really proud. I think it would. I think it would, yeah. I know that uh, you bring a lot of happiness and a lot of joy to millions of people, uh, many of them right here in Portland. So it's great to meet you. Thank you. And yeah, keep up the good work. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. They did a, a series during the holidays that, uh, for the elf on the shelf kind of thing. It's, yeah. They had like, you know, him on a limb with the, you know, <laughs> guy there, the buddy in the muddy. <laughs> but, um, uh, so the whole idea, though, of, the, of rate of species was uh, Shervin's idea. It's hysterical. Yeah, and zoos all across the country picked up on it. His idea, he oh wrote the gosh. intro to the book, and here's the book. Uh, but yeah, wonderful guy. And again, he's just, you know, one of a, sort of a team. Uh, Kelsey, his uh, co-worker there, takes care of all the Instagram, the Facebook, yeah. the TikTok, on and on. He's sort of the main Twitter yeah, guy. They do an amazing you. job. Like, we're yeah. obsessed with yeah. their social media yeah. because they're so, so much joy. creative and clever. <laughs> this so book, funny. though, I'm a, I was flipping through. Yeah. It's hilarious. It's like yeah. those Amazon reviews you see for things. They review animals. And yeah. It's hysterical. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned before, he was looking for boots and saw a description that said, you know, waterproof, waterproof only comes in brown. He goes, that sounds like an otter. Yeah. You know? And then that's like <laughs> the idea for this. It's hysterical. So, so yeah. perfect. Great I love meeting the face behind those tweets, though. Yeah. That was awesome. Great story. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Darn clever is what that very, is. Yeah. Very, yeah. Very. Uh,